The Engine Analyzer Pro has many features. One of the features is being able to check piston to valve clearance. Here we are on the main screen of the Engine Analyzer Pro. We click on short block specs. Most critical spec here is rod length, you see here, for doing piston to valve clearance. Un uh, surprisingly, in head specs, there's nothing here that's really used. The you know, critical head specs like valve angle and cant angle and stuff are contained in another section. Cam and valve train is also very critical. Um, here you see the typical valve or cam specs, center lines, duration, lift obviously is very important, lash, rocker ratio. If you wanted a more detailed CAM profile than what's provided with these standard profiles based on the specs you can enter, you can also enter a full CAM file except from a CAM doctor, a CAM pro plus, or our CAM analyzer where you could pick a certain profile to use instead of using standard profiles based on these simpler specs. So now that we got all our specs in there, let's calculate performance. Now we don't need to calculate a whole lot of performance for doing this. We could just calculate one RPM. So I'm going to cancel the calculations to save time here. But when you have some calculations done, um, you click on the C engine option up at the top. Here we see the, the lift profile. If we click up here on this graph up here, we can get uh, to where overlap is occurring, and that's where the piston to valve clearance is the tightest, obviously, when the piston's at the top dead center during overlap. Over here, we can see the specs that you're probably expecting to see put in, gasket thickness, deck height clearance, the valve angles. And here's a critical spec, inches from valve to head surface. That is, if I click over here to get the piston out of the way, that is the distance here shown by the mouse from the deck of the head to the closest edge of the valve when the valve is fully seated. And you can see on the exhaust, on this particular head, it's a little deeper. It's 223 thousandths, shown here, and the intake is 145 thousandths. Well, the program, after it's got this information, knowing the cam profile, rocker ratio, lash, rod length, and such, will run through all 360 degrees of rotation, or 720, for a four stroke, and find where does it come the closest. And you can see here, it's shown it in red. The minimum piston to valve clearance it found was 114 thousandths, a negative 114 thousandths, meaning if we go over here and go back to our overlap, that the intake, I'm sorry, the exhaust goes down into the piston, shown here by the mouse, 114 thousandths. Now this calculation is based on assuming a flat top piston, so you would need to machine your valve pockets at least 114 thousandths deep for zero clearance. And if you want to say, let's say I have 100 thousandths clearance, you need to machine your valve pockets 214 thousandths deep for the exhaust. Over here, the intake only goes 22 thousandths into the head, so the intake pocket would have to be as deep, only 122 thousandths if you wanted 100 thousandths clearance. But you can run, this will show the program by clicking on continuous, how the program goes through and finds all these things over the full 720 degrees rotation. So let's back out of here and let's do something that's kind of interesting. Let's go over and change the cam timing. Instead of straight up, let's advance it four degrees. Calculate performance. If you want, you could show tuning pressures here, which is kind of interesting. If we were worrying about performance right now, this is very interesting, very useful stuff to, uh, to watch. But since we're not interested in performance right now, it's pissing the valve clearance, we'll just go over here. And like I said, well, we calculated all the performance for all 8 or 10 RPMs. We'll go back and click on C engine. And now you can see the valve clearance is Piston to valve clearance has changed. I think this was 114 thousandths before. Now it only goes into the piston 90 thousandths. But over here on the intake, it was going into the piston 22 thousandths. Now it's going into the piston 
50,000. So if you advance the cam on this, your intake is going to have less piston to valve clearance by about 25,000. So that is how you can use the Engine Analyzer Pro to evaluate piston to valve clearance. This concludes this demo.